Okay guys, welcome to Dallas Stock Talk. I'm just giving you an update on my VinoVest portfolio. Normally I have it on the computer, but this time I'm going to do it on the mobile app. A couple people did ask me some questions and I will definitely um, go over it. As you can see, I have a uh, managed one for the regular long term for that's $831 and they have the uh, trading account. But if you're new, make sure you hit that like button and pretty much I go over topics relating to investing and finance, all different types of alternative investments. I'll drop a playlist. <laughs> Just check the suggested videos. Now guys, as one person asks me in the audience, like, okay, not in the audience, but in the comments, how do you add funds? So I'm just going to particularly go over that first and then I'll show you an update of as far as my managed portfolio and well, not necessarily my managed portfolio, but the wine portfolio and the trading uh, portfolio as well. So what I'm going to do is, let me move this over, to add funds, which you would just click at add funds at the top. And you can either add, let me actually move me up some, you can either add funds to the managed or the trading. So what we're going to do is click manage because this is the one. Now you have to also keep in mind that the either you can only train you have to at least transfer five hundred dollars. So it says um, most wine cases cost at least five hundred dollars. We recommend deposit enough funds to cover the full cost. So let's just see if we try a different amount. Let's see, let's try one hundred. We'll just see. I think I tried this before and it didn't end up working. So it'll allow you to select, you know, which one you particularly want. And I'm just kind of going briefly going over it. And as you see, you can't hit preview deposit. So, but once we go back and we hit the, so it has to be at least 500. So once we hit at least 500, right? And now it al allows you to do that. So it has to be at least 500 or it won't allow you to go through it. Once again, we're gonna hit the add funds because someone asked me in the comments how you did that. And then you click manage. Now also, you also want to, as far as to choose a deposit, you can do it through credit card. I wouldn't recommend that, uh, uh, US bank wire. But if you wanted to do the bank transfer, um, someone wanted me to go through this process. So I hit bank transfer. Now this is normally what will come up. So what will happen is the way this set up is once you will hit continue at the bottom, you will select the bank you particularly have. I'm just, just going to just pick one or the brokerage account, whatever one you have. And then the way it would end up working, you hit continue, you know, you hit connect. It'll take you to your um, bank's page. And then once you sign in under your banking password, it'll automatically um, connect. That's how that's done. The reason why I just went over it, um, because someone in the comments asked about it. Okay, but let's go over the total estimated value of my portfolio, $1,370.91. Uh, we have $831.10 in the manage. And for the trading, we have $539.81. So let's click the manage to see how that's particularly going. So as you can see, the account value $830.58. This is the only one, the only bottle I have, a case of six. Um, it is currently down 15.71%. Let's click on this. So this is the bottle. The estimated total position, $756.29. Gain loss since purchase, $141. Average cost per case, this is what I pretty much pay, $897.29. And this is 100% of my portfolio, and it's from the Ukraine. Now, uh, not Ukraine, the UK. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to definitely kind of go over this because I have only one bottle that could make it a lot more risky since you know, I only have one particular bottle. Um, if you guys want to see another wine investing platform, just look, I think it's called Vent. Just look at the suggested um, videos. Okay, so I have that. I went over that. I noticed that on the app, they don't show like the one month, three months, and a couple years. I mean, one month, three months, and you only have a year and all the time. They just have it um, 
nice crisp and just kind of just show you the overall i think as when you're looking at wine since wine is normally supposed to hold it for like a, a pretty long time that could be why they don't show it because a lot of people may get caught up in short term a lot of times from the wine that i which i've seen sometime over in over 10 years in order to see like a real value change so i'll definitely kind of keep you guys update to see how that particularly goes now if you want to look at the transactions as you can see we also you see they also charge um monthly fees um just to hold it's like an annual fee or something like that i believe because it's a thousand i only have a thousand dollars it's like 2.85 percent so that can definitely climb up there as you can see i deposited a thousand dollars the wine that i bought was 897 dollars and 29 cents and the monthly fees they are starting to you know to add up 2.85 percent annually each particular year does add up and we can see dollar here two dollars here a dollar a dollar a month so they it definitely kind of adds up so i'm definitely going to see and keep an eye on that as well okay so let's and by the way if you was wondering when i purchased it you can click that i purchased it october 31st 2021 so this is over a little over a year now so let me go back let me go back to the home again now for the trading account this is the trading account and what i would have to do is you would at the bottom you click portfolio it's a portfolio button click that and then on this one as you can see i'm down 13 percent now when it comes to trading one i really have no clue what i'm particular uh, doing and it shows you you know one month three months one year of how the price has been fluctuating and this is it also shows the estimated value since 11 6 2022 um to all as well like 65 dollars 85 cents but um this is the market value 66 dollars 82 cents this is my average price 76 dollars 88 cents so for all these it's pretty obvious that um i'm down and to show how much i'm down uh, just let's actually go back a little bit 13% so I'm down 13% overall on this one and like I said to buy and sell it's it's a pretty simple process you just hit that preview I mean review and I'm not gonna buy it I bought it on the other one if you want to see if you guys have any questions just um, let me know and uh, my overall experience with this is uh, yeah my overall experience with this is a cool platform but I mean for me, uh, it's okay. I haven't had it long enough to say for sure, but uh, this is for me still in the experimental. It's still in the experimental process. I definitely have to keep it for a much longer time frame. Probably at least, at least have to revisit this like f five or seven years because remember it's supposed to be held um, long term. So I'm just going to keep giving you guys updates. Normally, you're supposed to look at things um, probably years and years from now, but a lot of people want me to keep doing um, updates, so they want me to keep doing updates, so I'll keep going doing updates. As you can see, my cash, I will also mention that it is very interesting on this platform where you actually, it's very actually hard to withdraw your money. You actually have to call them and say you would like to withdraw money. I thought that was one of the downsides. As far as the customer service, um the customer service kind of get back to you way late a lot of times if you call them then they don't necessarily answer but the best way i think to reach them is actually on the app i'm going to actually show you guys i would just scroll all the way down and click book a call and you know i would you know schedule you know uh north advisor i mean north america advisor and schedule that schedule one of those times to me that is the best way um to reach them because other than that, you can email them, but sometimes they don't get really get back to you. Um, I emailed them a lot of times. You might have emailed once or twice, and they eventually do get back to you. But the customer service could definitely um, get better. Now, you also have to remember, too, all assets overall across the board is on a downward trend as well. If you guys have a wine portfolio, let me know how yours is doing. And also, if you use the trading account, let me know how that goes as well. I think I covered everything that I wanted to in this particular video. I'll definitely keep giving you guys updates.
on my overall experience. So pro so far, just a recap, the customer service could be improved a little bit. I would also like it if they had it where it just as they had easiest where you can add funds, it would be very easy to withdraw funds. Uh, all right, so let me just scroll down a bit and go over the packages. As you can see, the annual fee was $2.85 and $50,000, which is how I have $10,000, $2.750. 2.5 annual and $250,000 is 2.25%. Um, also, yeah, 2.25%. But I believe I covered um, everything that I wanted to in this particular video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you need, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, out.